my craft. I'm going to set my brows with something I like to call my little secret ingredient. It's so fitting, Empress. Oh, people used to call me Empress because I am an Empress. <laughs> broken brush, don't judge me. It's broken. I lost the thing, but don't judge us. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm back. If you're new here, um, welcome. Um, subscribe if you'd like. And today I got up and I said, you know, it's been a while since I took a stroll in the city. It's been a while since I went around shopping. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go take a stroll. I'm gonna go shopping and I'm gonna take you guys um, with me around to the stores that I'm gonna go to. Some of my favorite little stores to shop at and maybe some new ones if I run into them. And um, just for some retail therapy. <laughs> We're going to see how the stores are now operating um, since COVID. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I've gotten have been ordered online or sent to me. And so I haven't really had that experience of like strolling around in Manhattan and just going shopping. So I'm going to do that today. I'm actually, I'm really excited to get out and go somewhere. Not that I, I really, I spend most of my days indoor. I work from home. I live at home, I sleep at home, I eat at home. I'm always home. So, um, it's really exciting. I'm really excited to go outside. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm gonna get a little cute. I feel like getting a little cute. I usually don't wear makeup um, these days when I'm going out because I put on the mask and nobody's gonna see my face anyway. So. And maybe I'll put a little mascara, do my little eyebrows, and that's it. But I usually don't wear makeup. So, but today, you know, I want to get cute when I'm going outside. Because you never know if my mask is going to fall off. Like, oops. <laughs> Falls. Or you just never know when I might need to take it off a little bit just to take a sip of a drink. You know, you just, you never know who's going to see me. So, I'm going to get a little cute. I'm going to get a little cute. I'm going to apply this, um primer by Laura Mercier. It's the Pure Canvas Primer Blurring um, Flautant. hope I said that right. Um, and I'm going to put that into the center of my face, like right here where I have all the pores. Those like to open up for everyone to see inside. So I'm going to put that right there <laughs> to kind of give me that blurring effect and over my nose. Uh that right there um, I think this one is kind of mattifying is it I think the salesperson told me it's kind of mattifying I don't remember it's definitely not like a hydrating primer that gives you any type of glow it's pretty matte I would say so I'm just going to apply that right in the center my t-zones basically where i get oily <laughs> i don't really get oily on my chin right no. i'm gonna put that there and then i'm gonna apply this one this is the hydrating primer by laura mercy i'm gonna put that everywhere else for some hydration um because Did I put enough? I don't know if I put enough. Stretching my face, you know? <laughs> okay, that's that. And then I am going to apply some concealer. So I like my makeup to be very very natural it looks like there's nothing barely there it's just a little oomph just to accentuate my natural features so i'm gonna put a little concealer under here just to i guess brighten and you know i use this concealer all over my face actually because it blends really nicely with my complexion it just brightens a little bit so i would even put it everywhere even over here where i have these little dark spots i just put it there here, need a little more. Here, here, and around.
on my mouth area here there's a little dark a little shadow so i'm gonna do that so i literally put this like everywhere as <laughs> a foundation i guess and here in my nose whatever <laughs> i feel like there's no right way of doing makeup you do whatever that works for you whatever you know feels right do that as long as it looks good you don't look crazy um then i'm just gonna take this brush and i'm just going to blend that in pat that in to find some stuff for spring summer because i believe the retailers now they should have some spring stuff out now it's about to be spring in like a week so they should have them out already so not that i'm really going anywhere anyway i'm literally like in my house <laughs> in my living room i oh taking pictures <laughs> post on the gram but you know it feels good to dress up from home um, even though I'm working from home, it feels good to dress up because so it makes me feel like I'm 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 getting ready for my day, like I'm getting something done. You know, it makes me feel good. Um, instead of like being in pajamas all day, I will keep my pajamas on all day. I'll get up, roll out of bed, brush my teeth, wash my face, eat some breakfast, and just go to my computer and start working. And I'll keep it on all day. <sighs> um, <laughs> and that just it doesn't motivate me, you know. It just makes me feel like a bum. So I want to feel like I'm as if I'm going out to the office. And even though it's right down the hall, um, uh, it feels good to get dressed, get ready for the day, feel inspired, feel good. I walk past the mirror, my smash by, oh, oh, I look a little cute. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get some stuff, maybe mostly like if I can find some loungewear uh, that I can wear from home as well and uh, maybe some spring outfits because if, if we can go out now, things are getting a little bit better now in, um, in New York so if I could get some spring stuff that I can wear out, that would be nice. Um, so we'll see what they have. We'll see what they have. So I just did that. then. Oh, that concealer that I just put on is by NARS, I didn't tell you guys, and it's in Caramel, medium slash dark to Caramel, creamy concealer. You know, I'm going to use this little palette from NYX, professional makeup, I don't remember where I got it, I think it was in Target or something, but I'm going to take the lightest color here and just put it in this area here to brighten up. I'm blending in my finger. I don't mean to flip you guys off with my middle finger, but I'm sorry. Go like that. Um, I'm gonna put a little more just to brighten that area, and I put a little here to give me a little lift. <laughs> Not that I really need it anyway. My face is already like, but you know, whatever. <laughs> gonna exaggerate a little bit not really but we're accentuating that that i already have oh look at the difference mm -hmm. sad the lifted mm -hmm. that out. We'll put some on the other side here. This video has become a makeup routine. Oh, you guys are getting ready with me. I'm going out shopping and you guys are getting ready with me. I should put a little bit in the middle of my nose right here. Then I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty. 
my Fenty Beauty powder, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I love this powder foundation. It's not cakey, it's very fine, like you don't even see powder sitting on your face. Um, it's very lightweight. And it's really nice because I have oily skin, so, you know, I haven't been really too into powder foundation and I found this one and this one is really great because the powder is, I think it's, I feel like it's good for like oily skin really, but it's just good for any skin type, but it really helps me control these oils that comes out of my face. So my face doesn't look like a freaking frying pan. <laughs> Like I'm about to fry some chicken, <laughs> fry some eggs on my face. Okay, I better just pat that in. It comes with like a little thing, it's a little dirty. It's not dirty, it's makeup, but it comes with that that you can use. But I like to use this, this thing because it doesn't take up, you know, too much product. And, uh, I think this shade is a little dark for me. Um, this is shade 370. I think it's slightly dark, so I might. You can't really try it on that well in the store because of Corona, obviously. So the salesperson just put it like a little bit on my forehead, and it looked okay. But when I put it all over my face now, and I put like quite an amount, it just looks too dark. So I might get this in a lighter color for now, and this one I would, uh, will be great for summer when I get a little tan. Uh-huh, girl. <laughs> oh, I didn't put any on my nose. Uh, oh, look at me. Then I'm gonna go in with this powder. This Morphe banana powder. And I'm gonna put that right under my eye. You see how bright that looks? Ooh, it looks like I'm awake. You see how I looked this morning when I was like, good morning, guys. Look a little tired. Now I look, ooh, fresh and awake. So I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna use, I ran out of these little square sponge that I usually use, or like trapezoid punch sponges that I usually use for this powder. So I'm gonna use this thing that's in the Fenty, um, in the Fenty powder case. That's why it looks like that. And I'm gonna use it until I get more go like that. Oops. to set that uh, concealer that I just put there and also to brighten a little bit and put it like that. <laughs> Hello. I'll put a little here. realized that this Fenty thing has a mirror underneath too. Oh look, you see my phone? I'm filming from my phone. And I can put that in there and you just pop it right, pop it right back down. You got your powder and you got another mirror. Look at that. Hmm. Cool. It's so compact. You can easily travel with this. I love this thing. Then I am going to do my brows. Brush those bad girls up. Brush those bad girls up. I need to tweeze a little bit. I need to tweeze a little bit. This is the um, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.5 that I use. I'm running out. I need to pick up another one. There's nothing left. Oh shit. Just a little teeny bit left. Holy crap. I have to pick one up today. Okay. So I guess we're going to stop with Sephora. I have enough for both eyebrows. Right, I'm gonna stop right here and do over there. <sighs> do over here. I'm running out. 
I'll have to pick up one of these. 3.5, right? 3.5. I always forget. I go into the store like, oh, I'm looking for a brow pencil, benefit. Can you show me what color you're looking for? Uh, holy crap. I don't remember what color it is. I'm looking for the brown. Well, we have like four different types of brown. There's nothing left. I'm going to set my brows with something I like to call my little secret ingredient. This is what I use to set my brows in place. Got to be hairspray. <laughs> I used to be use brow gel, but like I always run out and I always have this on hand. And I use this whenever I run out. I'm like, gosh, I gotta find something else. But like, so I use this and I like it. It works well. So I'm gonna take a little bit and spray on my finger. Oh, I spray a little on my finger like that. Oh, it got everywhere. Oh no. And then I just oh, put it on my brows. Oh no, oh no, oh no. If you guys watch TikTok, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, got a little just some on this side. I'm trying to rub it off on there. Sometimes I spray it on the brush itself too and just use that, but what else? And then I just, you know, brush it and set it how I want it. And it'll stay, it'll stay in place. Eyebrow hack. Uh, eyebrow hack? Does anyone else do this? Does anyone else use that to be for their eyebrows? I, I, I know girls use this for like their wig, lace wig. I used to do that, but I stopped after I lost some edges. so crazy crazy person crazy person okay wow i'm gonna have to edit this thing it's getting kind of long i ain't even gone shopping yet i'm gonna take this concealer again and i'm gonna go under my brows here like that i usually do this before i pencil it in but i forgot whatever it doesn't matter put a little bit here sometimes just a little who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? My mom is always like, oh, teach me how to do put on makeup. My mom never wear makeup ever in her life. And now, mom, you can watch this video and see how I do it. And then I'm going to use this new thing I got from Trini London. They sent this to me and I'm so obsessed with it. I love it. I love wearing brown tones um, as outfits and as makeup as well. I think it complements my skin very well and it just looks so sultry and sexy and like natural at the same time. It's beautiful. So this is the uh, eye to eye. Eye to eye. The eye to eye ombre uh, poor, all right, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Eye to eye in Empress. <laughs> it's so fitting. It's so fitting. Empress. Oh, people used to call me Empress because I am an Empress. <laughs> so it's like it was made for me. This is how it looks. It's this gorgeous golden, golden, me metallic y, very light, metallic y color. And I just take that and put it on my eyes. And I just go like that. Just use my finger and tap it in. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I put a little more. It's not really showing up on camera well as it is in person, but I don't like to put too much anyway. that beautiful brown color look at the difference I put a little more so you guys can see okay it's beautiful it's stunning it's like really soft and so smooth it glides on so nice 
and the metallic the metallic effect is not overbearing it's just like a little shimmer in there is it metallic i don't remember i have to go look it up but a little shimmer in there is gorgeous isn't it hello look at my eyes <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. You can even put it underneath here, but I'm not doing all that. I'm just going shopping. I'm not going out. Out, out. And that's the eye to eye. Compliments my eyes. So pretty, right? This is how the color really looks. You see that metallic effect there? On my finger? Yeah. Can you see it on my eyes? Yeah, you see that little shimmer going on? Shimmer effect. So pretty, right? Okay. I'm going to do... This little brown, brown, chocolate brown pencil. And this is by CoverGirl 24 Hour Coal Eyeliner. Where's the color? Rich Brown. 300. Rich Brown. Oh, I need to sharpen it, but we can't better. I'm gonna go like that. I'm just gonna put it. I need to sharpen it. Oh no, I need to sharpen it. Okay, just gonna do it. Uh, whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna add some mascara. This one's Big Bad Lash by Revlon. Tilt my head back. I'm gonna use this lip liner by MAC in Quark. Everybody knows this lip liner, right? I have that on. Then I'm gonna do the lip to cheek by Trini London. Beautiful brown color. Ah! The color is called Chloe. It's like a reddish brown. No, it's like a. I don't even know. Put that on my lips. I love these colors. Ah, this like brown, sort of like yeah, reddish brown, burgundyish brown. Doesn't that look so nice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna add it to my cheek because it's lip to cheek, and I'm gonna put that all over my cheek area here. I'm supposed to do the bronzer first, but whatever, I forgot. This one might sink here. Look at that beautiful color. They just complement each other. Gorgeous. <laughs> We're gonna need some more here. Pretty. Pretty. So then I'm just going to take. I definitely exfoliated my lips before this and moisturized it. I'm gonna take this little broken brush. Don't judge me. It's broken. I lost the thing, but I don't know. And I'm just gonna do, like blend that out. You don't need to, but it uh, works for me. Mm. I need to clean that up, so. And I'm gonna take this um, matte bronzer by Sephora collection um, in Ibiza. And I'm going to put that, use this here. Hello. Hello here. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Let me brush it up. Where it's like that. Uh huh. Have a little hair. I don't think I really need it there, but my forehead is already small. <laughs> I wish it was smaller. A little around here. Yep. Where do I think I am? Then I'm gonna take the same brush that I used before with the foundation. It has a little bit on it. I'm just gonna go over just to like really blend that seamlessly together around the edges mainly. So there's no harsh lines. I don't like harsh lines. Right here looks kind of harsh. Now I think it blends in more seamlessly. Right? So I'm gonna brush off that excess powder on my nose. Oh, I forgot to do something. I'm gonna take the excess bronzer left on this. I'm just gonna go try to contour my nose a little bit. I'm not the best at this, but we're gonna do that. A little contour, a little slimmy, slim, slim. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go underneath here. I see people do that, so I do. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Look at that little contour. Little contour. I'm gonna blend it a little bit, a little bit. A little go. I'm gonna remove that excess powder underneath that I put on earlier. Brush that off. And that's it. I think I'm done. Usually I would put like a little um, highlight here, but I'm gonna wear a mask. So maybe, oh, you know what? I don't think the mask is that high, is it? I'm gonna put a little bit there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. I'm gonna take this little brush I got from Fenty Beauty. Sometime ago, it was a little dirty. I'm gonna spray it with some rose water because that really helps to bring out the highlight that I'm going to use, also from Fenty Beauty. This is in rum like that and I'm gonna put it right up there you can't really see it on camera it's getting dark in here why put a little here oh maybe I need to get one of those YouTube lights those lights set up <laughs> Whatever, we do like that, put a little here, bam, 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 bam. Okay, okay, girl. I'm gonna go out into the light when I'm done so you can see how the finish look looks good. Looks in proper light. I'm just gonna clean up over my eyes there. Then we'll see you guys. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna wear my hair out today. Oh, you know what? I'm getting cute today, okay. I wanna be a little extra, a little. I'm gonna wear my wig. I think I'm gonna wear my wig. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna wear my wig. So I'm gonna go put that on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna put my hair in two little pigtails so that my wig can lay nice and flat. You ready? <laughs> this is my wig, honey. This is it. It's what do you guys think? Oof, oof, because I'm in my This is my wig. Hello, my name is Tiffany. <laughs> it's not actually Tiffany. It's a Remoria. This is my wig. It's actually a bang wig, but I kind of took it out of the way. I wore it like this. I kind of like it. What do you think? Cute. My friend actually made me this wig. She has her own business. Maybe I'll link it below if you guys like the wig. I colored it myself too, actually. Cute. Mm -hmm. Now I'm ready. To roll the streets of New York. This is the makeup. I don't know if this is better lighting, but natural brown, you know, not doing too much. 